So, do you like programming, but you are absolutely terrible at it, like me? Well, I've got a solution for you. Uh, this is Code Rivals. In this game, you can do coding, but visually. So, we get to program robots, press execute, and watch it do completely the wrong thing. This is by a developer called Leonardo B, and it's scheduled for release 27th of June. So, have a little look at this. There's a demo for it, so we're having a little look and seeing what it's all about. Can this make me a code genius? Okay, here we go. So I'm guessing I start off in the tutorial because otherwise I will not have a clue. So we're going to learn the basics of visual programming. The first of the 10 levels, oh, the first five or 10 levels can be completed in under five, 15 minutes. The following five levels can take several hours. Wow, okay. So we've got basic training. Um, I'm just, how do I, okay, what's this say? So these are the five levels. Activating components, moving robot, flow control, conditional statements, DIY. Okay, that bit sounds horrible. Is that if, then, else? I don't know. It's been a long time since I've done programming. Right, basic training, activate components. So here we learn the first steps to program the robots. Okay. In the first lesson, we'll learn how to activate the gun. Yes, pew, pew. On the plus sign, open the menu. Okay. Click on actions. Click on activate. Place the activate block on the indicated button. Uh, this one. Begin play, activate gun. I can still see the flow for that. Now connect those blocks. So click on the orange output and then click on the blue input. Now click play. Um, nothing. Oh, uh, press stop. It's tricking me. Program's not running, right, click plus sign. Can't I just click that? Oh, we need to add a, add a, uh, a gun. Parts, gun, put the gun there. Now connect the gun block. Click on the output. Um, click on the output. Oh, so this is going that way. Ah, oh, that confused me. So that should be begin play, activate something, gun. <laughs> Hello world. I like it. I like the program of Bants. That is good. Programming Bants is good. Okay. Is it going to auto take me to the next tutorial now? I'm guessing. Yes. Move the robot. Now let's activate multiple components and make the robot move. First, let's remove the gun block. Right click and press delete. Fine. Uh, begin play, activate, is it wheels or something? Oh, it's engine. Click on engine one or type, oh, I want engine type two. That sounds better. Okay, then click on it and connect it. Okay, have I broke the tutorial already? See, look, that's working. That's sort of working, but I think I broke the tutorial. Um. It's only, oh, it says type two and I did type two and then it doesn't work with type two. Let's try again, let's try type one. Okay, I think they need to fix the tutorial. Check if engine, okay, it's not, it's not connected, so we're gonna connect it. Now click play. Okay, did it, I did it twice. Oh, it's spinning, that's because the robot has two engines, press stop. Okay, we need more space on the right. Go. Ah, oh, I see. Ah, oh, it's quite. Let me check. Let me check. It sends. It's quite a, a small interface. This. Okay, it is in. It is in fourteen forty p. So it's just there's a lot going on. Right. Add another activate block. Mm, uh, is that's under actions okay stick that there make a connection from one activate to another okay i think i did that now i'll add another engine block so we'll do engine one again because i don't trust oh engine two oh so i do need to add it like that right parts engine two there we go Connect engine two to the new activate block, like that. 
and then click play. We should go forward. Yes, nice. I don't understand why there's two different engine types unless it's actually engine one, engine two. Two different ones, not engine one's better than engine two sort of thing, if that makes sense. <laughs> okay, flow control. Okay. Ooh, what's that random text that's just appeared? Move, copy, delete, or click to add comment. Hey, what was that I got? Okay, is this just, is this just for the top, um, comments on the actual thing? What does that appear then? Yes, look, subscribe, subscribe to Shirley Rocks. Amazing, okay, such good production. This time the droid is too far away. Press play to check it out. Um, does it mean, as in the one I'm shooting at, I'm guessing, you need to get closer before firing a gun. This time we need a different type of code block, the flow controller. It's becoming hard to seal the code, zoom it in or out using, oh, there we go. Right, so we need to add a delay block under flow. So where do I put it? Place the delay block in the space between the second and third activate. Here? Oh, I see. So it's putting a delay in between when you fire the gun. So I need to connect these up. I think you do I, do I right click to delete the connection? Yes. And then connect these up. Uh, activate blocks and fix D, D connections. <laughs> the delay block d delays the flow of the impulse for a given time. We'll use it. To, we'll use it because the engines are simple motors. Later, we'll use more precise stuff like servo motors and sensors. Let's use the default value of two. Press play. Okay, let's see if this works. So the robots that be nice if you could see. Let me see. Right, let's. Can we, can we stop and do it again? Oh, see, I didn't even see that then. What, what went wrong? Oh, it's, uh, we're, we're, just, we're just firing too soon. Right, wants me to set it to eight, so I set it to nine. Let's see if we can crash into it and then shoot. I can't see what's going on here though. Um. <laughs> we did it, we did it. I must have rammed it and then shot it. Ah, that's a much better result. Okay, next up. What's the next tutorial then? Conditional statements. This is a bit I'm scared about. I think this is program terms for conditional is like things like if if shells equals hungry, then eat food. If shells is tired, go to bed. So this time instead of guessing the distance or time, we will detect the droid. For that, we need a conditional statement. Add a branch block to the mark location. So, okay, so we're adding a branch blo block here. Okay, we need to, how do, I, how do I move my text? Okay, let's remove it, that's just in the way. So flow, branch, we're gonna do a conditional statement in here. So it's got two outputs, true and false, and a red on off. Okay, the branch block will output on true if the condition in the input is true, otherwise it'll output on false. Now add a sensor block and parts. Okay, so sensor, parts. So this will be for detecting the, the robot. And we need to connect it to this. Do we just connect it like that? The sensor will detect the droid and send an on signal to branch. Okay, so we need to connect the true output on the branch to the activate on the gun. So that's that bit. This this time we'll need a pulse generator that will constantly send a new signal to check it. I guess that's there. So we need to do an, a tick. Ooh, where's tick? Add an event tick. Put that there. So unlike the begin play block that only sends one single pulse when, you, pulse when you hit play, the tick will send a pulse every fraction of a second. So connect this to the branch. 
So it's going to be constantly checking if it can see a droid. Okay. Our robot is not aligned to the droid, to the droid but the code will set it to turn around. Okay, let's have a little look. I keep putting those things on. So begin play, activate engine, and then we've got separate conditional branch. So this is gonna constantly send out a ping. Can it see a robot? If it can, it activates the gun. Okay, that's basically what I just said. Let's see if this works then. Okay, so it's spinning round. It's detected it, boom. <laughs> There's no way I could program a full thing like that, though. <laughs> that is good, though. That was mission four. Okay, what's mission five? If mission five is build your own, that's going to be so hard. Okay, what is this one? There's some crazy co code here. Let's get rid of it. I want to see it now. What does it do? Never mind, get rid of it. What does it do? So it's got a delay activates engine then it's got another delay it deactivates activate uh yeah i don't understand any of that let's delete all code so we're going to add all our stuff we've learned so far activating two engines makes the robot go forward and activating one makes it turn as you can see the droid is out of reach so we need to go forward then turn right to shoot it so we're using the deactivate command to turn off the one engine when we need and spin the robot and that's in actions to activate. If you connect it to engine two, a robot will turn right. Okay. No, I need help. I need help. Oh, so that hides it. I see. So I've got to do all this myself. Um, I told you I was terrible at code. Okay, so we need to activate part engine. I've already forgotten how to activate the two engines. Just saying. So I can only have... How do I do... Can I link the one activate to two blocks? Okay. I've already forgotten how to do it, so yeah. <laughs> what a disaster. I've already forgotten. This is the thing I struggle with these games. It's like I I have a brain like a sieve with code. But anyway, just want to have a quick little a little video to show you this game. So this is, as I said, coming out on July 27th. So yeah, if you do like this, uh, go and click the link below and that'll take you where you can download it. There's a wish list on here as well, so you can wish list it. Oh, I really wish I was good at coding. But anyway, let me know what you think of it below. And I'm Shirley Rocks. Here's the thing below, the bouncy thing. If you click that, well, if you click at the bottom of the video, drop me a sub, do me a thumbs up, and I thank you. I'll see you next time.